talking about a person who, whose job was to <laughs> help save lives and, you know, and here now his life is taken by, you know, tragic moment. He dedicated himself to saving lives this weekend. A retired Chicago Fire Department paramedic lost his life in a horrific crash. Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. Authorities say it appears the retired paramedic and his wife were victims of an intoxicated driver. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross reports multiple vehicles were involved in the crash Saturday night. Go right behind that police car is kicking out. And you can see the, um, the lights from the police cars flashing inside of the home. Police say speed and possibly alcohol played roles in a fatal collision on the 103rd Street Bridge in South Deering. The driver caused a chain reaction crash involving three other vehicles, the impact forcing a black Jeep onto its roof. Firefighters say 63-year-old Richard and 61-year-old Susan Beal were inside. Oh, my gosh. It's true tragedy. Him and his wife passed. Oh, no. To leave the world that way? Neighbor Robert Pitchford called the Beals' friends and neighbors. The Chicago Fire Department called the loss senseless and called Richard Beal a retired CFD paramedic ambulance commander. Talking about a person who, whose job was to <laughs> help save lives and... You know, and here now his life is taken. That's heartbreaking. That really is heartbreaking. Um, that's a sign. Family didn't want to talk on camera, but said the couple leaves behind two sons, three daughters, and 18 grandchildren. My condolences to the family. It's a really, it's terrible. Sunday you'll find traffic flowing on the bridge and thoughts about alcohol's possible impact here. It could have been me. Could have been any one of us. It could have been uh, my friend. At any given time, no matter what time of the day or night, you know. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, in 2016 there were 270 fatal crashes involving alcohol in Cook County.